I'm Grant from the Roxy. And I'm Peter from the Roxy. And you're watching us on Gibson.com. All right, so here we are at the legendary Roxy in beautiful downtown Vancouver with Peter and Grant, and we want to talk about, so, you know, are you really looking forward to your Olympic experience, and what do you think it's going to be for the Roxy? It's going to be mayhem, I hope. <laughs> uh, definitely looking forward to it. Um, a lot of sleepless nights, for sure. Yeah. And sometime in mid-March, we'll uh, regroup and, and look back on it fondly, I'm sure. I think it's going to be amazing. I think my only regret uh, is we'll probably be well, we will be so busy here that I might not get to see as much of the Olympics as I was hoping. I'll be stuck here 24 hours a day. And do you have anything special like planned with entertainment-wise? Like, you know, are you expecting anything, you know, surprises? Like, you know, what's normal night going to be like here at the Roxy? The best thing about the Roxy is no night is normal, and things just happen spontaneously. So that's kind of what we're expecting, nothing planned um, music-wise. we got bands playing at all times from 3 or 4 p.m. till uh, 3 a.m. So. Yeah. Great thing about us, too, is we never change. So as far as us planning something special, uh, it's for us it's business as usual because every night it's pretty cool here as it is. We've been doing the same thing for 22 years, and we don't plan on changing it. But you never know who's going to show up. You never know which musicians might get up on stage or which sports stars are going to show up and that sort of thing. So it's, it's exciting that fact. Especially with all the bands in town for the two and a half weeks, it's similar to kind of had our test run last year with the Junos and stuff and you know different bands just show up at any time and play four or five songs yeah, and cool. different members of different bands just jamming and stuff like that it was pretty cool yeah. so we're expecting similar stuff hopefully so like over the 22 years like Vancouver is known for a rich heritage of music which I don't think you know the world kind of thinks of few bands but let's talk about some of the bands that maybe have started here you know, and have come through the Roxy and still continue on. Like, what would be the highlights with some of those, you know, Vancouver bands that had magical moments? As an amateur band, you mean? Starting out, playing here, trying to get their first gigs and stuff. Uh, starts with our first house band, even. Yeah. Our first, first house band, band was called Dawn Patrol here, which is the odds, actually. It's from there. Yeah. Um, with our Canadian content, Tuesday nights, every Tuesday. Uh, except for the Olympics, unfortunately, but uh, we do have up-and-coming Vancouver local bands that play. We've been doing that for, uh, I think, about 12 and a half, 13 years now. So different bands from there. I mean, quite a few from Mariana's Trench to Nickelback Seeds winners. Uh, Hinders played here. A bunch of bands. Thornley. Thornley. Uh, one of our original house bands also was uh, Doug and the Slugs. Most of the members from that band used to play here in a band uh, that we called Dr. Strangelove that are no longer here. But uh, the original members of Dr. Strangelove were most of the original backing band of uh, Doug and the Slugs without Doug. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. And, um, what else we talk about? Well, I've got the trivia question now that I bring out. All right, so you ready for the trivia question? The trivia question is going to be, and I'm asking everybody this, um, because Canada is so rich and trenched with hockey. Um, who is going to be in the gold medal men's game, and what's the final score going to be? Uh, hockey wins at all times, right? Oh, hockey all, just hockey. wins all the time. Uh, my prediction, Canada-Russia final, Canada 4-2. I'm going to agree. You're not going to have a separate opinion? No, 4-2, no, Canada-Russia. Like so you guys really are a team. Have you already started to see like tourists coming through already? Like how how busy is it getting? Is it starting to you know ramp up? Like what's it been like from last week till today? Uh, the big change I think was this weekend, just seeing everybody on the streets yeah. starting to come in finally. Uh, obviously the passports that we've seen, there's quite a few people in town. Most of the people that have been here though for the last couple of weeks are people that are here to work and and they've been working around the clock trying to meet their deadlines as well. So we've noticed basically over the last six or seven days that. It, it's been really insane, and, and every day since the last few, even since the weekend. So. It really seemed to have started, uh, I think, kind of last night and, and building up now through this week, uh, where they're saying that it's going to be uh, 100,000 people a day coming into Vancouver or something in the, in, for the last few days, uh, and it's going to get up to be more than that by this Friday. So uh, 
I mean, luckily we're pretty busy as we are, as we are, and we're we're very lucky and fortunate for that. So, uh, you know, you'll start to see it really by Friday, I think. You know, where you, I'm starting to notice it in the city more than uh, than I was in the last week, more than just the club. Okay, so one of the last um, times that Gibson was present here, that I was here, was the night of default. And that was kind of a neat, um, that wasn't really planned, I don't think, or it was a Sea Fox. Um, but that was a pretty magical night. Now, how was that like to have default come back after selling millions of records and that night that, you know, they were there playing live, uh, you know, default? Like, how have they been, like, coming through the Roxy? Uh, they're actually good friends of the bar. They're from the area, so when they aren't touring and everything, they, they do uh, show up often. And once in a while, I know Jeremy's with you guys, and he'll get up on stage and likes to play Sweet Child of Mine all the time with the band and stuff like that. But uh, to have the whole band together actually on stage was was a pretty incredible night. You know, they played here five, six, seven years ago, and, and now they're back, and they've been very successful. And I think you could tell that night when they played, too, that they also felt it was pretty special to be here. You know, they felt at home, and they felt comfortable, and... Uh, and the performance, I think, showed up that night, too. The energy was pretty pretty special that night. It was awesome. And so upcoming bands in Vancouver, since you guys, you know, seem to see everything, who would you say would be, like, one of the next bands that's going to come out of Vancouver that's going to, you know, do it, like the Defaults, the Nickelbacks, the Theory of Dead Men's have done? That's your question, buddy. Wow. Uh, I still think a lot of them are growing. I mean, if you look at the guys, like, from Headley and stuff like that, and Theory of a Dead Man moving into the U.S., um, you see a lot of growth there. Uh, Mariana's Trench is a very, very talented group, vocally especially. Um, other than that, I mean, we've got a lot of up-and-coming bands. The last year's Seeds winners. Um, bands like Black Betty and Venice Queen. and Another good up-and-coming band called The Turn that's really cool and stuff that get a bit of airplay. And uh, also Veer Union as well. Veer Union's another Gibson band. So that's really good. So there's some tips there for Gibson on some of those other bands, isn't there? 